Happy New Year, happy 2024. It's the new year and if you're ready to get your house in order, get your house organized for the new year, then I'm your girl. We're starting out in my bathroom. We're gonna be doing lots of decluttering, lots of organizing, and then we're gonna continue on and do other spaces in the house. So I hope you're ready. We are going to get this done together. Let's do this for the new year. Happy New Year, happy 2024. It is so crazy to say that, but I hope you're having a wonderful start to the new year. I'll be completely honest with you. I'm filming these voiceovers before the new year, just with my kids off of school. Number one, I wanted to be super present with them and spend a lot of quality time with the girls. They are off until the 4th, well, Avery's off until the 4th of January and the twins don't go back, I think until like the 9th or the 10th. So they've been off for a long time and I just wanted to spend some quality time with them, doing as much as I can with them. But also it's not really easy to get a lot of cleaning or editing done with them around. You know, I can do it, but it's just, I feel like I'm being pulled in, in so many different directions. So um, yes, I filmed this before the new year, but I hope you're starting out January on the right foot. You're feeling good. But today we're gonna be decluttering and organizing our bathroom and I'm gonna share how I approach when I start to declutter and organize, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for you. to Jamie's journey, we're here in the new year, we want to welcome you. And I say we because it's not just my channel, this is a community. If you go through, if you look at the, if you glance through the comment section, I truly have the best community here on YouTube. I am so grateful for the community that I have. You know, my parents watch all of my videos and my parents are always saying how blown away they are by how nice and friendly people are because we all know how social media can be. So I just truly have the best community and I'm so grateful for all of you guys. So if you're new here, welcome to the Jamie's Journey community. We're so glad you're here and you're coming in at a perfect time because there's a lot of organizing I want to do in this house. We moved into this house last December 30th. And so last year we started out the new year literally just unpacking everything literally unpacking everything. That's all we were doing. And I did not have time to properly organize. So a lot of the rooms and spaces in our house are kind of a mess. And so my goal this year is to really start slowly focusing on each area and tackling these spaces and getting them organized. So I hope you're ready. If you need some ideas, I think I'm your girl. We're gonna do this together.
Okay, so the first step in decluttering and organizing, I'm going to tell you this right now, is it's going to happen over multiple days. For me personally, and this is just how I operate, so I can only share how I do things. I can't just walk into a room and say, okay, this is a mess. What are we going to do? Um, let's just start decluttering and then organizing. Or I don't just go on Amazon or go to Walmart or go to the Dollar Tree and just buy organizers and say, okay, what's going to work? I kind of have a system to where I need to take things slow. My personal, I guess what I've learned is that if I rush things or I try to like make things work then it usually doesn't stick so i like to take things slow so as you'll see a lot in this video it was all filmed and all of this was done over multiple days so you know at first i go in you're going to see me here too or now i want to just clean the floors because i knew i'd be sitting on the floors but what i wanted to do this particular day before I even thought about organizers or how I was going to organize. Like literally at this point, you guys, I did not even think about organizing at all. All I was focus on, focusing on was decluttering. So first and foremost, before you need to organize a space, you need to declutter. So I was going through all of these drawers under our sinks and I was decluttering, getting rid of stuff that we don't need, we don't want, because then once we know for sure what we're keeping in those spaces, then I can look for specific organizers for those spaces. So first and foremost, take a day to declutter before you even think about organizing. More words of encouragement, you're going to feel overwhelmed when you're decluttering, at least I do, because you start pulling stuff out and then you're looking at this mess and it's like, you know, like you're creating a mess to get to the end goal. And so I know it's frustrating. I know it's overwhelming, but just know that that's okay. Those are normal feelings. It will take you time, but it gets worse before it gets better. So first and foremost, I'm taking this day. I was not organizing on this day. I was simply decluttering. When we moved into this house, I took everything and I just, I didn't even really think too much. It was like, where would it make sense to put my makeup? Where would it make sense to put my dry shampoo? Where would it make sense to put X, Y, and Z? And I just kind of threw things into the spaces. And after living here for a year, I really got a feel of what made the most sense. Like, where should we move things? And I think that's really important. That's why I did not want to rush organizing because as much as I hated that my bathroom cabinets and drawers were a mess, so are my kitchen. I hate that they're a mess, but if I haven't lived in a space, I don't know what makes the most sense. I don't want to continually just be like moving things around. So step one, declutter. Go in and I was pulling everything out, decluttering and kind of moving things to where I think I want them to go.
Okay, so to be 100% open and honest with you, I know when you're watching this video, you're seeing me go in, declutter one day, come in another day, and organize. There were weeks in between all of this. Honestly, this organizing project, I felt like took me longer than it should have because I just felt overwhelmed. So if you're feeling overwhelmed when you're organizing, that is normal for a variety of reasons. I think for me is because I wanted to tackle the bathroom first because it needed to be done. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you need to do this with your entire kitchen. You need to do this with the pantry and the refrigerator and the freezer and the girls' bathrooms and so many other spaces. And I just felt overwhelmed. I can't tell you how many times I sat here and said, like, I don't even know where to start. So what I'm going to tell you, if you feel that way, that is normal. When I'm I'm just my first piece of advice is just get started just force yourself to declutter and i think that once i decluttered and i looked at okay wow i got rid of a lot of stuff it made it more manageable and it made me have more of a direction of where i wanted to go with the organizers so if you're feeling overwhelmed 100 percent normal i want you close to me you give me what i need So I know I'm wearing the same shirt, but you may notice, does my hair, maybe you don't notice when the hair, my hair is up in a ponytail, but my hair is blonder. This was like a week apart from when I decluttered and when I'm organizing, I'd got my hair highlighted between this time, but I just love this shirt. It's really comfortable. It's from American Eagle, FYI, but I was going in and it was finally time to organize. And I want you to know, well, first what I'm doing here is I'm wiping down the cabinets again and I'm going to line them because if you can see specifically in this cabinet, something had leaked in the time that I had decluttered until I was going in right here. And this is why it's important to link or link um, to line your cabinets. Um, but yes, so what I had did between this and the last day that you had saw me decluttering. So I went in and I decluttered. Once I knew I can look into under my sink, I could look into each drawer and I knew what we had in those spaces. Then I was able to properly, properly look for organizers that fit what we had in there. So under my sink, you know, I knew I keep a lot of extras, extra shampoo, body, body wash, lotions, my nail stuff, um, you know, that type of stuff. So once you know what you're what you're working with and what you need to organize, it's easier to find organizers. So declutter first, number one, and then just focus on one space. So like when I went in and I started looking at Walmart and Amazon, I was focusing on, okay, what do I have under my sink and what organizers do I need? I tried not to think about the drawers or under Mike's side of the sink. I just focus on under my sink. What organizers do I need for under my sink? And then I moved on to under his sink and then the drawer. So focus on one space at a time and go looking for those specific organizers for that space.
So all of the organizers that I'm using in today's video will be linked in the description. I have one link for everything in this video and why I like if you go to this link it'll take you to my like it to know it page my LTK page and I like sending you guys there because you can see actual pictures so when you click on that link you log in you go in um, and it's free to log in or anything it's just it's nice because you literally can see the pictures specifically with each individual link. So like, for example, I'm using these clear organizers right here for under my sink. And for under Mike's sink, I'm using similar organizers. They're clear and they look the same, but they are different dimensions. They're different sizes. So it just makes it a little bit easier to see the pictures, but everything is linked below in the one link. It's very clear if you click on see more in the description. Um, but I will say that when you're organizing, it seems overwhelming. You're not sure if it's all going to work out, but if you take your time and you go slow, I promise you it will work out. I was doubting myself. I'm like, I don't think this is all going to work out, but I was so happy how everything turned out and the organizers ended up being perfect for this space. So again, another, some words of wisdom is just take your time, take it slow. You're not in a rush. No one is expecting you to get it done super fast, but yeah, here I was just restocking everything and making it all look nice. So if you are new to Jamie's journey, sometimes I get a little chatty with my voiceovers. So I'm sorry if you don't like a lot of talking, but that's what I like to do, at least on YouTube. What is interesting, you guys, if someone is listening who actually knows me, you'd be like, Jamie, you're not a talker. You don't talk a lot. Like if I'm in a group, I don't talk a lot. I'm pretty quiet. But for some reason, you guys make me feel open and I can just talk about whatever I want to talk about. So thank you for letting me just speak my mind here. Not that I don't feel that way when I'm like with my friends and family, but I'm just not a huge talker and I feel better in smaller groups of people and like that I can talk. But if I'm in a big group of people, I'm probably not going to say much. I'm pretty quiet, but, um, here I was just cleaning all of my self tanners. It's Loving Tan is my go-to self-tanner. I don't use it a ton in the winter. Just I live in Northwest Ohio, and here you just don't see people who are tan in the winter. Um, but occasionally, like if we go out or we do something fun, like I might just do like my face and my neck area, but I don't do it too much. In the summer, I do it weekly, but Loving Tan is my ride or die self-tanner. So I have a couple of different shades because again being from northwest ohio like if i use it now in the winter i just do like a medium shade because i don't want to look like i just got back from florida because no one looks like that here um at this time of the year but then like in the summer i'll do like ultra dark or platinum or something like that so um i was cleaning those all up and stacking those and then here i was doing mike's his was pretty simple he doesn't have a lot he's a simple man he doesn't need a lot so um not a lot to organize under here but i was making it look nice and new for him <music>
Mike's pretty laid back and go with the flow. And when I was going through everything, like I pulled him in and I was like, okay, what do you think? Like before I ordered the organizers, I was like, okay, what type of organizers? Like, would you like these to be grouped together? Would you like that to be grouped together? And he was like, Jamie, I don't care what you do. You can do whatever you want. I really don't care. Um, I could honestly throw all of this stuff probably in a bucket and he would be fine rummaging through it all that all of that, which I don't think would be good. Um, like lumping all of his shaving stuff and eye stuff together, but he just is like, I don't care what you do. You always make it look nice. So I trust whatever you want to do, but yeah, I was just trying to make it look a little bit nicer and also decluttering because he doesn't get rid of anything. Like I'm the one who's in here like, nope, we got to get rid of this, get rid of this. And he's the type of person who's like, but what if I need that? What if I need that? Um, but here real quick, I was just like wiping out and cleaning the garbage can before I put some liners in there. So much better. I think what I was going for in here is I wanted to be able to see everything when I opened the cabinets. We get our lotions, body wash, and toothpaste from Costco. And like I know specifically last time when I went, um, the toothpaste was on sale. So I actually got two boxes, which ends up being a lot when you're buying a box of toothpaste from Costco. So sometimes we'll have a lot of extras and I used to just kind of like throw them in here and I just like how I can visually see how much I have of everything because I never want to get too much, but I also never want to run out of some of this stuff. So I can see everything perfectly. Mike's actually going to Costco today, so he was going to pick up some new um, razors that I'll put in there, but looks pretty good. And I know before, like with Mike's hair gel or hair paste or whatever, you know, he would, we would take it and we would just kind of like throw it in here because it really wasn't organized. So now when he grabs the last one, he knows we're out. All right. So obviously this was pretty easy because he's a simple man, doesn't have a lot of stuff. Um, and obviously we have a lot of storage in here. So like his, you know, everyday deodorant, cologne, um, that type of stuff. I think he has a moisturizer. We just keep up there. And so this is just his eye stuff. He has a lot of problems with his eyes for sure. He does not have the best eyesight at all. Um, so he needed a drawer dedicated to eyes and then all of his shaving stuff. After going through some of the stuff, I realized that he needs to update some of this stuff. Like his bathroom bag is, he needs a new one. I think he's had that since probably high school. So it's kind of nice to go in here and force him to get rid of some stuff and whittle down the junk. So, looks pretty good. Okay, so we're kind of like fast forwarding in time. We're gonna go back to the day that I was actually organizing because I'm gonna deep clean the bathroom really good, but I wanted to add this in. I had some stuff coming from Amazon that didn't come until a few days after I was done organizing, but because this is part of the organizing, I wanted to add this part in there. So we'll go back to my blue shirt and uh, deep cleaning the bathroom, but I have my, I bought these washcloths from Amazon and they're just really soft on the face and I wanted that all really easily accessible with my face wash. So let's talk about this for a second. Alcohol prep pads. These were actually, they're old. They were from when I had to do all of my IVF injections and I had to clean the area really good before I would inject myself morning, noon, night. Always had injections, um, especially with my second transfer because it the first transfer didn't work. So they put me on a blood thinner. I believe that's what it was. I forget. It's called Lovinox. Lovinox. Um, that one burned. Every time it went in, it burned and I bruised so badly in my stomach. The bruises actually looked worse than how it felt. But every time now, I think going through so many blood draws, 
between infertility from the very beginning stages through IVF, you get stuck with the needle so many times that the smell of this brings me back to the, that time in my life. Like it's crazy and it almost gives me anxiety when I smell that alcohol smell. So now after I organize, we're just going to deep clean. Now I'm going to tell you, I will be organizing the drawers. So again, going back to what I was saying is I take all of this slow. I was going to do it all at once, but it is very overwhelming. So again, declutter before you organize and also take your time. Don't rush yourself. Don't force yourself. Don't put too much on your plate. So for me, I'm like, okay, Jamie, let's just focus on under the sink and you know looking back at an edited version it looks like organizing decluttering and organizing under the sink isn't that much right at, at least that's my perspective but I know how much work I put into decluttering and spending the time to find the right organizers for everything under both my side of the sink and Mike's that you know it was a lot of work and it took up a lot of time so I'm like okay let's just spread it out so I did under the sink and then next week you're gonna see me organize all of the drawers so the drawers on the upper part that are on top of the um, counter and then below so we're gonna be organizing all of that next week but here I was just deep cleaning our bathroom take your toilet seat off it is so gross to me you take your toilet seat off and you're like what is going on um, you'll be surprised what you find, so make sure you're doing that periodically. So Zep grout, grout and Brightening Cleaner is the best. It is the top dog for cleaning your grout, but it's also not good to use all of the time. It is a pretty harsh cleaner and it's something that while yes, it works great, I don't want to use it on my grout over like every single time I clean. So I try to focus on maybe using it. Mm, I don't know if I use it even once a month. Um, it just depends. Um, there's other methods that I think clean the grout, but just not as good as the Zep. But if you just need like a really, really good grout cleaner, get Zep. It is the best. So I put it on there. You're supposed to let it sit for a few minutes. Then I was going to go in and do a little bit of scrubbing. But what's really great with this grout cleaner is you do have, you can do some scrubbing, light scrubbing, but honestly, it works that good that if you don't do a lot of scrubbing, it's still okay.
So, you know, as I'm cleaning, I guess I can get into a little bit of the good week, bad week, high point, low point to my week. And honestly, since it's the new year, I don't want to get too bogged down in the low point to the week. Um, obviously, I would say with the new year, I'm really excited to just approach the new year in a new way. You know, I'm not a big resolutions person. Um, I think I'm a pretty disciplined person in general. And when I set my mind to something, I usually accomplish it. But of course, I think as any human, there's always changes you want to make in either yourself or in your life. And I think recognizing those little changes, it could be a big change, um, a small change. Oh, I'm using Dawn Platinum. So Dawn Dish Soap Platinum and water in that spray bottle to go in and clean it after the Zep Grout Cleaner. But I think we always have things that we want to improve on. And what is really, really important in the new year, if you, if there are changes you want to make, I think not only recognizing the changes you want to make, but also how do you make those changes? I think a lot of us, you know, will say, and this is not something that I, I want at all, but I'm just saying like new year, a lot of people are like, I want to lose weight. Okay, but how are you actually going to lose the weight? Or if you want to exercise more, okay, you can say you want to exercise more, but how do you actually execute? execute that you know we all have these goals or things you know new year's resolutions but i think what's more important almost like once you make that goal or new year's resolution is create steps on how you're going to get to that place because i can sit here and say like for example something for me is i want to start uh strength training more i do a mix of strength training and cardio I love cardio, love it so much. And it's really hard for me to do strength training, but I know it's better for me, number one, as a woman. Um, as I get older, I know it's better for women as they get older to strength train more. And I see more results in my body in strength in um, toning when I lift weights versus cardio, but I just love the cardio. So I know that's like a huge New Year's resolution for me. And so what I'm working on is what realistic steps can I make to actually meet that goal. So just something to think about. Um, I'll probably talk a little bit more about this later, but you know, I know New Year's, New Year's resolutions. I think it's important to not only figure out your what you want to change, your goals, your resolutions, but how do we get there? So like I said, this video actually is almost over, but stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be organizing all of the drawers in here and then we're going to move on to other spaces in this house. I am so ready now that we've lived in this house for a year, so ready to start organizing. But I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year and I hope if you have goals, resolutions, just think about how you're going to get there. I know for me, um, and I guess that goes in like the good week, is I know what I want to do. I know changes I want to make for myself, um, to make myself a better person, um, you know, ways that I can be better here on YouTube for you guys. But it's like, 
okay, I know this, but how can I actually execute this? And so I'm actually um, writing down steps on how to realistically doing this. So like, for example, with strength training, I'm just going to tell myself, okay, so you work out five days a week. So you are going to make without fail, three of those are going to be strength training. You're going to be lifting weights. Um, you know, I right now work out five days a week, so that's not much of a change, but I can force myself to make it three days of strength training versus cardio. So I've already put that in my head. I've, I've written it down. So, um, just something to think about when you're kind of creating these new routines or goals for the new year, but I'm really excited to share more cleaning and organizing for 2024. And I hope it just, I really just hope that it helps you, it enriches your life and can make cleaning and organizing easier for you. organized so stay tuned for next week and then we'll get back and organize all of these so we have more coming up stay tuned for part two but whoo nice and clean nice and organized i'm feeling good feeling good for 2024 i love the feeling of a clean floor it's my favorite so I got so busy with the craziness of the holidays, I forgot to I forgot to close out the video. Um, so I just got done editing, and the girls were just watching some shows, and I said, "All right, let's say Happy New Year." We hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, and we hope you have a great 2024. You have been. <laughs> you have been a part of Jamie's journey, hopefully for 2023, and we are so, so grateful for you, and we hope you will join us more, stay in this community for 2024, because we are so grateful to have you here. Happy, happy New Year! Year! Say happy 2024! Happy 2024! 2024. Thank you guys. So like I said in this video, stay tuned because there's a lot of organizing that we're going to be doing or that I'm going to be doing here in the new year. So um, I'm excited, a little overwhelmed, but I am certainly ready to get everything nice and neat. Every time I open the cabinets, you know, in our kitchen or it was in our bathroom or other areas in the house, it's just a disaster. And I am just so ready to finally focus and start organizing. So you guys can join me and we're going to get this done together. I'll see you guys next week with some more bathroom organization. Bye. Mm -hmm.